Mom is his peacock. Let's go find some hidden treasures. I can't wait. Let's go. You guys want to go too? Come on with us. We're going to go find some. Come Let's on. go. Let's go. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Have you seen Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock! Mr. Peacock! I'm here! Oh, there you are, Mr. Peacock. We're all wondering what you're going to be doing today. Well, today I'm going to take you to see a vice president's farmstead. We're going to a vice president's farmstead? Oh yeah, and it's very special what they're really doing with this place of where he was born. Shall we go see what they're doing on this farmstead? I think we should go. Let's go, Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Come on. We're near Greenfield, Iowa, in the country at the birthplace of Henry A. Wallace. That's right, he was Vice President of the United States from 1941 to 1945 under Franklin D. Roosevelt. FDR, I was not around then, but uh, he was an important Vice President during, I believe, World War II. Yes, that's right, and he was also Secretary of Agriculture and he was editor of Wallace's Farmer magazine. And he we, did all kinds of things. Yeah, and we were even in that magazine about our peacock farm many years ago. Wow, that's very interesting, but I think we should check out the rest of this farm. I think we should, and then we should find some more hidden treasures. Okay, sounds good to me. Well, Mrs. Peacock, let's go check out his birth house. That's right, I think we should. It's well preserved, and he really liked horticulture, and there's lots of greenhouses on this place. Yes, it should be very interesting. Let's see. Well, we made it up to the front porch, and there is even a plaque up there. What's it read, Mrs. Peacock? It says, 1888 Henry A. Wallace Birthplace, renovated in 1996. I never expected to find a checkerboard or a chessboard here on this property. There it is. I think I will queen Mrs. Peacock. <laughs> Let's play checkers. I'm red. Oh boy, I'm over here. I'm on blue, but I can't come and get you. Nope. How can I? Do I do catty corner on checkers or no? Yeah. Okay, I can do catty corner. I can do over here. Yeah, we're here. about to go on a 20 minute sculpture walk and we're going to find some interesting things. Tell us what's in the brochure, what we're going to see, Mrs. Peacock. Well, we're going to see, supposedly see a scarecrow and some grasses and some little statues, supposedly, and some grasslands and his garden. So it should be an interesting walk. I think we should just get up and start this 20 minute walk. Let's go. I think so too. Come on. All right. Come on, everybody. Well, I'm ready to start. Are you? Yep, I'm going. It's like following the green brick road, except for it's full of grass. Yeah, it's a cute little path. Well, we're at our first place. Tell us where we're at. That's right, it says Native Prairie Planting. It says when the first settlers arrived in Iowa, nearly 30 of the state's 35 million acres were blanketed with tall grass prairie. In less than 150 years, 99.9% .9 has disappeared. So this is an example of what used to be There's here. A bridge. Let's walk across the bridge. We're and it's, go up there. Then it's some kind of a wetland, natural prairie lands and everything. How Iowa and most of the Midwest was once. It's actually a pretty cute little path they've got. Okay, we finally found the scarecrow and there's a bench to rest on. 
and a beautiful breeze. Yes, that's right. Isn't he cute? Not a very big house. Wow, this was a small one, wasn't it, Mrs. Peacock? It was really a small house. I'm surprised. Well, yeah. people didn't require much back in. Well, Mrs. Peacock, let's have a little breezy relaxation right now. That's right. After that walk, I think we need to rest. Well, there's a nice breeze coming out of the east, and it's going to be a hot day here, but this would be a perfect place. I think you should check out the restaurant they have the wonderful garden and it's a victory garden and the victory garden used to be something they did back in World War II times, way before I was born, where people actually grew their own produce so they could survive in the very hard times of the depression. Yeah, that's right. I like this little bench. It says Henry A. Wallace on it and it's pretty cool. Well, I think we better go off and find some more hidden treasures. I think we should. You've just seen the Henry Wallace Center near Greenfield, Iowa. Yeah, that's right, and I got to play checkers. I thought that was cool, but he had a, a huge checkerboard out there in the middle of the yard. I wanted to play double checkers and all that. That was so fun, and you could play chess there, and I think they said they do have people dressed up as chess people, and there's all kinds of cool places to see on that place, and they're bringing back the agriculture of that special area for you to go with your family. Yeah, I like walking the trail in the grass to show the prairie grasses. It was really quite a bit of fun. It was a little hot that day, but it was fun. Yes, it's so hot in that part of the world, but it's always fun to check out these cool places out there to show us something new. Oh no, not again. Yeah, time's up, we've gotta go. But do we have to? But we gotta go, time's up. Okay, okay, if that's the case, I'll say, see you all later. That's right, next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Where'd Mr. Peacock go? We must be off on another adventure. So until next time, on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see you later. Mr. Peacock. Mr. Peacock! We finally got home! Yes! We are home! We can't wait to show you what we saw today! And I can't wait for our next trip! Let's go find out what we just did! Come okay. on!